Hey everybody, it's your girl Jackie and this is my friend Mercedes. Today we are doing a celebrity inspired look and I was reading People Magazine. I literally stopped at the grocery store. Like I was in awe of Miss Katy Perry on the cover. Oh, you can't even see that. Okay, Katy Perry on the cover of People Magazine. Um, I think this is, this is the March 2011 issue. So if you see it, check it out. It's amazing, but it's a great spring look. And I figured what better way to show this look on my friend here who has bright blue eyes. So obviously this is something that's different you guys have never seen on my channel. I just wanted to kind of switch things up and show you guys, you know, um, there's more to the way makeup looks uh, versus it being applied on me. So I just want to try something different. And this look I think is going to be a great way to start that change off. So I hope you guys like it and thank you for watching. The first product is going to be to set your base so that the eyeshadow can last longer. I'm using Indian Wood by MAC, which basically has a gold copper finish. And all you need is just a tiny, tiny bit and I'm only applying this color to her lid. And just make sure you're smoothing it all the way out so that it doesn't crease your shadows. The first eyeshadow I'm going to use is Dazzle Light by MAC. And I'm using my 252 brush. I'm going to lightly apply this at the highest peak of her brow bone. And then I'm just going to blend it out. For a crease color, I'm using Brown Script by MAC. And I'm going to take my 219 pencil brush and just lay some of that color on her outer corner. I'm literally just placing the color there. I'm not going to worry about blending just yet. I'm just really going to pack it on so we can get maximum color payoff. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my 222 brush or you can use the 217, whatever your blending brush of choice is. And I'm going to use that to buff that color out. And I'm going to start at the outermost corner of her eye and blend it all the way up about halfway where her eye stops. That's going to be our crease color. And you can use a combination of circles when blending, or windshield wipers, or all of the above, whatever works for you. Open your eye. And it also helps sometimes to do this with your eyes open. That way you can see the natural curvature of your eye. For the crease color, I'm going to use Teta Tint by MAC. And I'm using this because it kind of has like an orange tint to it. You're not going to see it on camera, but it does and I'm going to take my 224 brush to blend out <clears throat> and I'm just using that around the outer edges of where I applied that brown script just to blend it out and blend out any harsh lines the idea of using this crease color is not so that you actually see the color it's just being used as a way to kind of like buff out any of the harsh lines And at some point, you don't even have to add any more eyeshadow. You can just keep blending out around the outer edges. You just want it to look airbrushed. And if you have to go back, you can reapply your brow bone color, which is what I'm going to do. Sometimes the brow bone color gets lost in the crease color, so I'm going to go back and reapply. Because for this particular look, look we do want it to kind of stand out. I'm actually adding a little nylon to her brow bone as well. For her lid color, I'm using Amber Lights by MAC or any type of like bronzy. This is like the epitome of like a bronze orange eyeshadow. You can use anything that's similar to that. And I'm still working with my 252 brush. Anything that's flat and dense. 
and I'm going to pat that color right onto her lid and you want to avoid the outer corner color obviously that's where we put our brown script so I'm patting that onto her lid and the reason why I'm patting and not sweeping as you guys have seen me do before is we get the most color payoff so you never want to sweep because you're just sweeping the color on and off on and off on and off on and off and obviously you want to actually see what you're applying I'm going to go back to my highlight color I'm switching from dazzle dazzle light to nylon because I like nylons finish a little bit better for this look so I'm going to apply that with my 219 I'm gonna apply that to her inner corner and I'm really gonna kind of overdo the inner corner color like I'm just really almost having it touch the bridge of her nose and I want that look For Katy Perry's look, she has kind of like that quintessential pinup thick black liner. So I'm going to use Max Fluid Line. And if any angled brush that you have, this particular one I'm using is the 263 brush. Anything that's flat and angled or you can use something that's thin and tapered, whatever you prefer. But I'm going for a thick, dramatic, drawn out line. And if you don't have gel liner, you can always use liquid liner as well. There's really, it really does make a difference. Gel liner kind of has like a finish where it looks like you use liquid liner, which is why I love it. So, I'm going to be adding her lashes. I'm using <laughs> Mod Lash. Um, these I purchased, actually Mercedes purchased these from Nigel's Beauty Emporium in LA. You can use whatever lash you please. And I picked these particular lashes for this look because if you're looking at the picture of Katy Perry, which I'm not gonna show, um, the lash kind of thickens in the center versus on the outer end so you kind of want like that curvature lash not the ones that curve out on the outer ends but as with anything if that's not what you prefer you're more than welcome to use whatever suits you and these lashes are actually brown but we're going to darken them up with the mascara Next, I'm going to be applying mascara. I'm using Maybelline's Lash Stiletto. When you're applying mascara to someone else or on a client or a friend, it's helpful to have them look down at the, at the floor simply because when you're applying the mascara, it keeps it from you know, getting all over the eyeshadow. It's just an easier technique to do. And if you have to, you can kind of like get a little bit behind the person and watch the lash from up above. I'm 
And I like to start at the root of the lash and wiggle my way up. So for now, I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up the bottom of her eye. I'm gonna add foundation, the rest of her face basically, and I'm gonna finish up the bottom portion, add the mascara and shadow, and you guys will see the final look. I look like a boy. No, you don't. Yes, I like I to show him. Wayne likes it too. No, I'm, I'm really thinking because I want it to sound personal. No, nope. okay. Okay. So don't show you. look so good. Thanks. You do, girl. You do. <laughs> okay, so what am I doing? Okay. What you want to do, you know? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're recording right now. This is hilarious. Okay. I mean, <laughs> hey, we'll have bloopers and I ain't tripping. I'll go close to my face. Bam, perfect. I'm thinking of what I'm gonna say. That's fine. <laughs> did I ever tell you you look like Lisa Kudrow? I did tell wait you that, right? Wait a second. I did tell you wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Is that chick from Friends? Yeah. Oh, She's me. pretty. Oh, every bitch be telling me that now. Like, mm. Are you serious? You know what it is? It's when you have makeup I on. I think it's the expressions, maybe. Maybe. I think she's pretty. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's okay. Hey. <laughs> Bam. We just made magic happen.